What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Cool Kind of Boxing, coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Uh, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Now, George Cambosos, you know, you know, he claims to be undisputed, but he's the unified champion because. Devin Haney got the other belt, man. He's got the WBC belt. But George Cambosos, you know, he he beat Teofimo Lopez. You know what I mean? And he, he beat him soundly. And, um, you know, he knows one thing. He knows one thing and one thing only. That he has a limited time in the spotlight. Because he don't have... He doesn't have the skill of Devin Haney. You know, he figured, you know, he'd rather get, take a chance with Lomachenko, who has, um, you know, went to his country, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to at least show support for the Ukrainian, um, you know, country and stuff, you know, because... You know, you know, he can he he can be a beacon of hope for those people. Omichiko can, but I mean, he's only a, you know he's a midget. So what what really can he do? You know what I'm saying? He's you know what I'm saying he's just a little you know he's a grown man that's about four foot tall. So you know, there's only so much Lomachenko going to be able to do. I doubt if he's in the line of fire on the front line. He might be able to box the hell out of somebody, but you know what I'm saying? I, I don't see, you know, Lomachenko being available for George Cambosos. But needless to say, that didn't stop George Cambosos from begging him to come from supporting his country. You know, to support his country. Hey, won't you won't you come back, you know, you know, to hell with your country? Come on back here and fight me, right? So I don't have to fight this black fighter who's probably going to beat my ass, right? So George Cambosos don't want to face Devin Haney. He do not want to fight Devin Haney because he knows that's going to put an end to his 15 minutes of fame as the fake undisputed champion of the world, right? So we all can see this. So he's playing games. He's trying to stall and on the... You know what I'm saying? On on the backhand side. You know what I'm saying? He's he's writing, you know, Lomachenko and Morse code, please, please come back and fight me, you know. You know, he, he's using that old Indian Morse code that uh you know what I'm saying, the uh Indians had to decode the decoders and stuff, you know. So nobody will find out what he's doing. But, you know, it's just a shame that this is the fighter spirit that we see in fighters today. It's about staying in the limelight. Like Ryan Garcia said that uh, George Cambosos, you know, he beat Teofimo Lopez because Teofimo Lopez didn't work hard enough. And he just caught him on the, on the right night. And he's saying that, um, you know, I'm saying that, you know, Teofimo is more talented. And, you know, um, George Cambosos just had hard work and hard work beats talent, right? So George Cambosos snapped back. And um, I'm just paraphrasing. He said um, that Ryan Garcia needs to, you know, stay out of people's business, basically. And that he needs to find his way to the gym. And he needs to be concerned about, you know, his own affairs, basically. Because we all know that. Ryan Garcia, you know, uh, Canelo Alvarez came out and said that Ryan Garcia don't spend no time in the gym. He's, you know, he's more interested in being a celebrity than in being a boxer. We all know this. And that he said something about uh, George Cambosos. He said uh, that Ryan Garcia Twitter followers, you know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it has nothing to do with boxing. You know, it has nothing to do with what he's done in boxing. He's more famous for his Twitter following, right? So, you know, we've all had these criticisms of uh, Ryan Garcia. 
and um, you know it's, it's obvious what Ryan Garcia is and uh, he don't deserve a fight you know what I'm saying for you know at, at those belts because you know he got fake 8 million Twitter followers you know what I'm saying that ain't shit you know what I'm saying that ain't got nothing to do with the work you need to do in the ring to be fighting the champion right you know say what you want about George Cambosos you know he got the opportunity and um you know what I'm saying he he took advantage of the opportunity and you know Teofimo Lopez wasn't mature enough or disciplined enough to stay on top and um he won the belt so now George Cambosos is you know he he knows he's not the most skilled and he knows he's not the most talented so he want to make the most of his 15 minutes of fame. So he's playing games with Devin Haney and trying to hold him off to find him a fight that he can win to stay on top. So it's just as plain as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? You know, all this, you know what I'm saying, deals he's looking for, you know, he's just looking for somebody else, you know, not Devin Haney, not a surefire, you know, think about it. You know what I'm saying? If you was on top and, you know, you had to fight, Roy Jones Jr. or you had to fight Boots Ennis you know what I'm saying and you just won you know you just slipped up and won the uh, uni- you know the unified three belts you know what I'm saying and you know you know that uh, you know you could possibly fight somebody who you can beat you know what I'm saying are you going to face Devin Haney now I'm not saying this as a boxing fan I'm just, just looking at it the way you know, George Cambosos is probably looking at it. He's trying to make the most money he can and stay, you know, in the business of boxing, you know, while he's lording over the belts, right? So we all see this in the sad. I'll be the first to tell you that's some sad shit. You know, that's the sad shit I've seen because, you know, he talked all the shit about being a Spartan and when Teofimo Lopez had the belt, he was talking all kind of shit. I'll fight you, Devin, when I get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming straight at you. And the first thing he does, oh, you got to make sure you're exciting in the ring, Devin. We got to, we got to see what Tank got. And I, I can't even, you know, if he go for Tank, you know, he, he's probably looking at a surefire knockout. Getting his ass knocked out. So if he mess with Tank, I believe Tank will knock his ass out. Let's take hurt his hands, you know, because you think about it, you know, Tank hurt his hand in that um in that Cruz fight with Isaac Cruz, you know, Mayweather, you know, he was knocking out everybody down there at 135 until he stopped breaking his hands and it changed the way he fought. It affected his career because Floyd was, you know, he was a powerhouse, you know what I'm saying, until he got them brittle hands, and hopefully that don't happen to Tank. Um, but Tank ain't interested in the belts. He's just interested in, you know what I'm saying, getting the fights that, he, you know, Mayweather put in front of him. But I, I don't think he have any problem with fighting George Cambosos. But getting back to Dev, you know what I'm saying, they're going back and forth on um, Twitter. And, um, you know, they're making these ridiculous statements you know, De- uh, Devin said something about his dick, and George Camboso came back with something about having big balls, and, and the whole thing is just stupid. Why not just sign the contract? Well, he's not going to sign that contract because he thinks something's going to fall out of the sky, you know what I'm saying, so he don't have to fight Devin Haney. He's trying to stall and that's that's really sad you know what I'm saying that this is how boxing the way boxing is going right now you know it's like you know these guys you know they I know they work hard and um and you know in, in training but you know once you attain a certain level you know what I'm saying you gotta you gotta stay fighting the best in my opinion and I just think George Cambosos know his limitations. He don't want to fight Devin Haney, but he's forced to. And and Devin said it in one of his tweets. He said, man, you know, all this, you know, bullshit that you're talking, and you know you're forced to fight me, you know. So, 
you know, George Cambosos, you know, you know, he's, he can fight, but he's not the, um, he's not the most talented guy that's going to be able to hold on to those belts. I think Lou DiBella knows that, and that's why he's going so hard against Devin Haney, you know, and they're all trying to freeze Devin Haney out, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, he's independent, you know what I'm saying, they don't want another Floyd Mayweather, they don't want him to um, run over, you know, 135, but, you know, Devin don't have long at 135, he'll probably win that that uh, undisputed, and he'll, he'll have to move up immediately and be on the same playing field as um, the pro grades and um, everybody's moving up to 140. Ryan Garcia can't make weight. You know what I'm saying? After all this shit, I'm eating them steaks for being off. You know what I'm saying? The fake broken hand injury. He's moving up to 140. Monte, um, Montana loves at 140. 140 is starting to heat up a little bit. It's starting to get a lot of fighters. Uh, you know, Josh Taylor, you know, he's probably got uh, he's probably going to vacate the belt. So I don't know if he's going to have... If maybe he'll rematch uh, John Cottrell. You know, and that needs to happen. But um, I don't see him doing well at 147 at all. Um, after that performance. Unless he come back and, you know... You know, he wouldn't even rematch uh, Regis Prograde. Because you know what time it is. So, you know... But um, that's pretty much all I got. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'm starting a uh, boxing comic book. Please support that in the cash app. I appreciate it. And um, like I always say, a lot don't go around here, a lot, dog. Just have it. See you in the next one.